Hey guys, uh, Camp here. So I've got a inadvertently a new product review. And I say inadvertently because, well, you can see there, there's my original video and I'll put a card up there for it, uh, for the Insignia microphone. Well, I thought I broke my Insignia microphone. Um, so I bought another one. And buying the other another one, I figured I'd get one really, you know, closely priced uh, to the Insignia and see if it was better, right? And better. Um, and see what you know qualities you may get out of an improved and newer microphone. So I did this review back in 2019, um, a couple years back. This was back in my other home, and kind of you can see the, the the shelf and all that. That's normally over there right now. I'm kind of at a different camera angle, so I can show you the two microphones side by side. So yeah, well, I, I thought I broke this guy, and this is the Insignia right here, and you can see it in its position, uh, basically in its size. And then here's the other guy right here that I purchased. Uh, you can see also kind of its size. I'll shoot a few pictures and put them around as we go through some of the discussion. But i tell you what was something that was really interesting, and I'll escape out of this real quick, is this microphone is $60 at Walmart online, uh, but I bought it at Amazon for $39.99. But also, this guy was $39.99 when I bought it, the Insignia. So I keep talking about this guy and what is this guy? Well, uh, that's funny because I go and I click on my website or my, my Amazon site and I click on my previous order and it can't find it. Uh, it knows the name of it, but it can't find it. So I am going to come over and see what it says. Oh yeah, so I copied and pasted and basically the USB microphone, sorry, I keep looking back and forth, um, still, Stillnend, Stillnend, I'll type it up here, uh, metal condenser, metal condenser recording microphone for blah, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. You know, that typical Amazon list. Yeah, it's for broad, broadcasting for, you know, voiceovers and da, 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 all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to basically cover it in that aspect too with these microphones because this microphone is pretty much identical to this microphone in its uses. So if you want to know what they're used for and their features, their best features uh, that these are used for, you can go and see the previous video with the Insignia. They're pretty much the same. Now, when I say the uses and features, there's going to be uh, more features on this guy right here uh, already if you can't tell. Uh, but again, why I mentioned that I can't find that name anywhere is because when I ordered it and got it from Amazon, this is how I got it. I still have the box, um, of course. It's called the Sensitive Pickup Pure Sound. Really interesting name. Uh, condenser microphone, big diaphragm, full quality tone. And then they get this really good looking, kind of good looking little insignia that basically looks like some type of seal of something, but it's not. It's just a picture of a microphone and it says microphone, microphone. Uh, the small text down here basically, and it's on the back of the box, so I'm reading it. Uh, per, uh, professional condenser microphone, provide rich, delicate voice. Hopefully after all this, my voice will be delicate. Um, separate, separates your voice from the background noise with its cardioid core. Let you hear truly unforgettable voice. My voice will now be unforgettable. Yes. Uh, applicable for, and we talked about it, online karaoke, voice chat, uh, cover recording, webcasts, vo blogging, vlogging, uh, live feeds, whatever, live stream. Uh, it's a uh, operation guide, insert microphone, plug into the microphone, mic socket. Yeah, that's what the interesting thing is. You know what? Let's just quit talking about it and let's just review what we see here. Um, well, let's go over the product itself. I need to turn it off because it's going to make a whole lot of noise. But <clears throat> it first comes with this USB type uh, plug here you see. I'll get a zoomed in picture of it. I believe this is a USB type B plug. Um, it comes with this very interesting stand. Uh, rubberized feet, metal rubber, rubberized, rubberized. Uh, Rubber feet. How about rubber feet? That'll go. We'll go with that. Uh, tripod kind of looking thing here. Um, not too bad. Decent quality. Uh, a little lock here to, to adjust the position of the microphone. And let me tighten that up. That's as tight as it'll go. Okay. Uh, then the connection down here. There's a screw nut here. So if you want to take this off, um, which kind of cool is it's embedded into the, the bottom of here. 
but then you have this connection where you can plug in itself, uh, mount this on some type of tripod if you want to use this on a boom mic or something. Uh, currently, I just use it as a standing, small tripod standing mic, so I'll just leave it at that. Make sure it's centered. You have a mute button here, very nice. Uh, just like the Insignia uh, version, it has a mute button, but this is where it gets completely different. You have, as you can see here, a, a, a headphone jack. You can plug your headphones and monitor your own voice. I, that part I really like, because I tell you what, to be honest, I've done a few videos with this guy right here, and then come to find out after I go check the audio that it's staticky, that there's something in, in the way, there's some problems, or whatever. So, I'm not a super big fan of that. Um, just switching over so you can see a picture of what this looks like. Uh, it comes with this little muff here. Yep, doesn't smell too horrible because you're getting close to it. This is basically what this guy looks like. You can kind of see a glint of the, the, the microphone inside. Um, you have a, back to the main portion here is you have this volume uh, button down here and you have echo. So this is really, I don't know why you would have so much echo uh, and it just gets absurdly echoed. I mean, not crazy, you know, where it's just kind of echoing, 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 echoing the entire time. But it's got a, a loud echo. I mean, if you use it, you turn it up slightly, that's it. Anything beyond that, it's just, it's just garbage. Uh, I know what it's mainly intended for is for people who don't sing very well, but they sound better when you have a little bit of echo. I mean, why do you think you sound so good in the shower but nowhere else, right? Because you got that nice... Uh, reverberation echo thing going on so again I'm not an audiologist so I don't know but the point is is echo is I'm thinking is for karaoke and stuff like that it's not for what we're doing here I'll experiment it here we'll switch over to that in a few minutes and you'll see what we're talking about but um, volume button great feature mic or headphone perfect feature echo eh, I'm okay with that and then of course the connection to the tripod is all pretty nice um, what I like about the tripod with this connection here is that once you plug it in, right, it's it's faced towards you, but you've got some room down here for the cable to kind of float. That's the one thing I find is a bit of a drawback for this guy, for this insignia, is that it plugs right into the bottom, and if you push down far enough, you'll hit the cable, and you might damage the end of the connector. Um, so you, you don't have much room to float with this, with this base. Um, but... There's some serious drawbacks with this guy in certain cases, but if you kind of manage the situation, it's a good microphone. So let's go ahead and, and get into what I think might be a more important portion of this. So let me let me show you something that you might have heard, but I'll, I'll definitely bring it up closer to you. Is here's the headphones. It's plugged in, and I'm gonna touch the base or the body of it. So let's get our headphones on and then we're going to go ahead and start to play on the computer here. So we'll switch over here in a second and we'll do some recording on this. Hopefully you're, yep, I've just switched over so hopefully you can hear uh, everything related to the microphone. Um, you can hear a hum that hopefully just popped up. Now I'm going to make the hum go away, mostly go away, and now you should hear is um, I'm, I'm touching the cloth that covers the headphones, but it's you should hear the road. So it's I've got a horrible ground loop in here that I need to fix, um, and even that greatly reduced that noise. That's interesting because now that's horrible. Yeah, there's a there's a there's an issue in here. So uh, another drawback, if you can look on the screen side of it here, is is if you go to mute. My, my volume jumps up. It goes even higher. Now it's full volume. X, you know, output, full volume. So it, it makes no sense that my volume keeps going up as I mute. Interesting, right? Okay. Uh, echo, yeah. So I have no echo on. Hello, now I have my echo. How do I sound? Yeah. So uh, a bit echoey, um, sounds like I'm in a hallway, right, um, uh, in, a, in a school, <laughs> you know, that's nothing but, you know, no, no, no dampening sounds at all, it's just complete echoey, sounds like I'm in a horrible place, and then that's, so when you're using this for recording purposes, 
uh, voiceovers and whatnot. It's probably really good microphone for using for everything else other than when you're constantly wanting to make yeah, I sound like a I got a lightsaber. Anyway, um, let's get rid of that echo. Get rid of that home. So this this is where it sounds I think pretty good. Um, by itself. Now let's do a switch over to the other microphone. Woo. All right. So I'm hoping, and and I got no headphones. I got no readout. So I'm hoping that this is recording from the microphone itself. Uh, I, I don't know for sure uh, until I I play it back. I you may not even know that I did this because it didn't work. I don't know. So, nonetheless, this is the test of the Insignia microphone as I get a little bit closer, step a little bit back. Yeah, this is basically uh, the comparisons uh, audio-wise of these two uh, microphones. What did I think of the product in the end? Uh, this is going to be one of the few that I'm probably going to say, meh. Uh, and when I say, meh, I mean that I like the feature that it has the headphone jack in here. Uh, that you can listen to the to the volume as you adjust the volume so that you can um, monitor your sounds because that's the one thing that this one does not have all this has is a mute button that's it so you don't know your quality of your sound as you're trying to record most importantly live streaming type stuff that's where you're going to run into I'll issues be... honestly i don't think it's worth getting uh is it worth the 40 dollars? it could be um, but I've seen some lavalier mics that are for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, that do a bit better than this. And when I say a bit better, the biggest drawback of this device is the sound that it makes, the ground loop sound, the hum that you hear. You you heard it earlier when I touch the microphone base itself. You know, it's funny. It's like if I took that that top off, if I touch it up here, it doesn't make any noise. As soon as I go beyond this gold line or the gold line and beyond down below, it will be horrendous that hum noise this is plastic down here it won't make a noise but as, as my hand gets closer to the device as it starts to um, get anywhere near to the device and as as I get closer and closer to the device all the way up into touching it you can hear the hum uh, get louder and louder and louder as it goes through noise now what's interesting is is you s I don't know I hopefully you saw me is that I was able to put my hand on my computer and then when I touched the microphone it was very minimal sound and the and when I wasn't touching the microphone, the 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 hum almost completely went away. So there is a grounding issue with that. That maybe it's with this microphone. I don't know if it's across all these microphones, but as it stands right now, this one and then you heard with this one, it also had that much worse hum uh, in it. I just don't think it's worthwhile to buy a forty dollar microphone uh, unless, unless one caveat unless. You're just absolutely just broke, and you need a microphone like in five minutes, and you got to get something. And I mean five minutes, like you need something next night or next day, because uh, you're gonna jump on a live stream or do something. Maybe I would suggest getting something like this. Um, other than trying to experiment, which you know is gonna be some kind of cool thing I'm doing with these and playing with them and seeing how they go. The end all be all not worth buying for 40 bucks to do any type of quality recording so I, that's how i feel um i hope you liked it uh do me a favor if you think anything about it or even if you got that device itself you know hit me down below give me some uh, comments let me know what you think about the review let me know if you have something like this that that, that maybe the the sound isn't there maybe you've done something or maybe you did have the sound and you fixed it uh, any type of you know help and update would be wonderful. And again, um, these guys will probably end up uh, eventually after I go and invest in a real microphone later on. Will probably end up on my shelf collection of non-used stuff or rarely used stuff. So anyway, peace, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.